Hey, what is going on, Obscure Mic people? It's Bart coming at you yet again with another microphone, Obscure microphone video for you. And if you didn't already notice, I'm talking on not the Heil PR40 this time, uh, but I am talking into the Rode Broadcaster. Going to try three Rode Broadcasters on the Back Row Fantasy Show. So that's what we're talking into, the Rode Broadcaster, so you can get a sense of what the Alctron CS35 is going to sound like when I get this thing all fired up. I'm going to go ahead and drop my, got to drop that volume just a little bit, just a little bit. Rode Broadcaster, you're hearing it now, and we're going to switch over any second to the CS35 from Alctron. The Alctron CS35. It's beautiful, but is that it? The Alctron CS35, red and black body, all metal with one hell of a shock mount, and a pretty solid package for the price. I picked it up for $55 off of AliExpress, and this is what it sounds like. So let's go ahead and cut to an unboxing. Not really. I'd opened it already before, but let's cut to a little reveal, so to speak, on the CS35. So we are opening the CS35 box. We've got some documentation. Shock mount. I actually have uh, the sound streaming through just for you. We've got a pop filter. And we also have in this fancy leather pouch, the big reveal, the big dildo, the CS35, red and black beauty. Really a good package for $55. The shock mount alone, those things go for $50, $60, $70. Dollars. It's like a Rikati shock mount. So yeah, that's, uh, that's one heck of a package if you ask me on the CS35. Let's get to some tests. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple plosive pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck. But I like to say patch. P patch. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pecks. When you get right up on the CS35, this is what it sounds like when you get right up on the CS35. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and spin this microphone around to see what the off-axis noise rejection is. Right now, we're talking directly into the microphone. We're going to turn it 90 degrees. So I'm looking at the side of the capsule, and this is what the microphone sounds like. We're going to go 180 degrees. I am completely behind the capsule. That's what she said. And, <laughs> and I'm going to turn it to another 90 degrees. So I'm talking into the slit of the capsule. That's what she said. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, I'm just... And back around to the front of the microphone, and that's what she, this, this is what it sounds like. So, Alcjohn CS35, again, I got it for $55. My initial thoughts on this, uh, very deep tone, very dark, very floor heavy, not a lot of mids and not a lot of highs, not a big presence boost. There is a presence boost there. Uh, let's, Let's pull out the old frequency response. So not any kind of a major uh, frequency boost, but there is something keeping this thing from being all mud. But I do see it as a little bit muddy to be, to be, to be fair, to be fair. Where are you at? Frequency response. Alcjohn sent some goofy looking shit in their manuals, man. They try to cater to us US folk, but it's like, me microphone make a sound for your music and to that we say we appreciate you for uh trying okay so all right i'm gonna have to take a picture of this frequency response chart uh basically it, it's pretty flat all the way through till the till the end till we get to about ten thousand kilohertz and then we've got this dip at ten thousand, and it skies skies like Akeem Elijahwan at Skyhooks uh, into the 20 kilohertz with a big old presence boost. And it doesn't sound that clean up top. It's a, it's a little bit shrill at the top. So if, if you're looking for 
something that's got a really heavy floor to it. This this is going to be that heavy floor. I hear that flat frequency response with a bass boost almost at the bottom, and then and then you know they try to bring it back up, bring it around town. So they say, I don't I don't think it worked. I th- I think that this mic can be EQ'd and played with, and probably sound pretty decent. This may be the one microphone that an oral exciter on the Rodecaster Pro may actually come in handy. Let's go ahead and give this a big top heavy boost. All right, so the oral exciter is now on, and I was absolutely wrong. It sounds like I'm talking into a plastic bag. You know that vi- that vibration that you get when you talk into a plastic bag? That's what's going on now with this microphone. Plastic bag time. Turn that shit off. Thank God it's off. Let's go high pass filter on this thing. There we go. High pass filter eliminates some of that really heavy floor. So compression, deesser, and a high pass filter. I feel like this is a little bit better. And what's sad is I don't I don't think it sounds like it's crap quality. It doesn't sound like that. It doesn't sound like it's just junk. It just sounds like it's EQ'd out of the box just kind of wrong unless you really like that dark tone which i don't know about that i'm not throwing an acoustic guitar on this thing because i don't have any faith in it at all then the acoustic guitar is even going to sound good on it so here's the funny thing i'm going to give the alcatron the yellow light because you get this pretty sweet universal shock mount with it you get a pop filter you get a leather bag and the microphone is workable with some EQ. So for $55, I'm telling you, these shock mounts that are like this, these universal, you know, uh, rubber suspended shock mounts are pricey. So I can't red light it. If it was just the mic, I'd give it a red light, but I can't. Too much value here with the extra pieces and parts. So I literally, I just cannot, uh, I, I can't give it the old red light. But... Alctron CS35. If you like it, I'll post a link to it down below. It was a fun experiment. It was fun waiting seven weeks on this thing to come from China. Now, it'll take seven weeks to get 100 views. Scare mics. Peace out.